Hello, this is Bernhard Ruchti, and today I would like to give a short update on my Atempo project for my YouTube followers and everyone else watching. As you may know already, the uh, Tempo project is a quite big recording and research project that is all about tempo in classical music. The project consists of five parts, three of which have been published on YouTube already. I started with Beethoven a Tempo and recorded two of his piano sonatas uh, an early one and a late one, uh, and I played them according to the so-called double beat understanding of historical metronome markings. I also introduced that double beat approach in that context in a more or less neutral way, and I actually recently published a little introduction series about historical metronome markings and tempo that now uh, takes a more critical look at that double beat theory and presents both its merit and its pitfalls. The second part of the Tempo project then is about Franz Liszt and his magnificent fantasy and fugue on Ad Nos Ad Salutarem Undam for organ, which uh, are recorded at the original instrument and and in its original duration, because other than for uh, Beethoven, there are no metronome markings, but there is an actual duration documented of an actual performance of that organ piece in 1855 under Franz Liszt's very own direction. So this is like an open window into a performance practice of the 19th century and into Franz Liszt's ideas on interpretation and tempo, so very exciting. <laughs> the third part then is about Robert Schumann and his equally magnificent fantasy in C major, opus 17 for piano, which I recorded in Lucerne, Switzerland. This part is also about metronome markings and about a double beat understanding of those metronome markings, but mainly it is actually about the uh, musical aesthetic that results of such a different approach to Schumann's tempo indications and about all the beauty and magic that unfolds when his uh, masterpiece is uh, played in such a different tempo and in general different way. This is perhaps also or even more the case for the fourth part of the Atempo project that is now about to be published. It is about Chopin or more precisely about his Etudes Opus 10 which I recorded in Munich in March. I will present a let's say double beat inspired rendition of the etudes and I have of course my historical uh, reasons to do so which I will present in a short introduction but first and foremost I did that kind of interpretation because it's such a joy and so much fun to play the etudes that way and to see what incredible details and colors all of a sudden appear when the music is not rushed through but can actually breathe and has time and space to develop all its amazing beauty. So that's really something wonderful and thrilling. There is a delay in the production of uh, the videos due to certain uh, circumstances, which is why I cannot uh, start yet publishing those videos as I originally planned, but I'm optimistic that I will be able to start the publication on YouTube in August. So until then, check out my other videos here on YouTube in case you haven't done so already, be it the videos of the Atempo project or the videos of my own compositions, if that interests you. 
All right, so I wish you a wonderful summer. Stay healthy, safe, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hopefully see you soon. Thank you and bye-bye.